Good day. We would like now to look at what we call the mean value theorem. Uh, to prove the result, we need the flow. theorem it states the following you let f be a function that satisfies <clears throat> the following three hypothesis number one we want f to be continuous f is continuous on a closed interval a b number two f is differentiable On an open interval a b number three when you fire, try to get f of a you must get the same value as f of b if all these three conditions are satisfied then there is a number c in the open interval a b such that f prime of c equal to zero so essentially what we are saying is that um, if for argument's sake let us just pick a function going like that it's a continuous function and uh, Somewhere we have our A, somewhere we have our B, like that, in such a way that if we evaluate um, F of A, it's the same as, say, uh, F of B. Remember, we are moving like this and so on until we reach that stage. So what we are essentially saying is that there will be a number between A and B. This number is not necessarily equal to A or B uh, in such a way that uh, if we pick C here, then the gradient of the tangent to our curve will be equal to zero so this is the tangent and we know that f prime of c at c at c when the, this number c will be equal to zero so that's what we are saying an example we are saying that um, a uh, given say f of x equal to x cubed minus x mm, find the number c uh, in the interval minus 1 to 1 such that uh, rules theorem is satisfied so we will start by checking um, two things this is a polynomial uh, so since you can say since 
f of x equal to x cube minus x is a polynomial. And then since a polynomial is continuous and differentiable or differentiable and continuous on the whole of R uh, on this uh, sub-interval or in this interval, then the, this polynomial will still be differentiable and uh, also continuous. So since f of x equal to x cubed minus x is a polynomial, then uh, f of x is both continuous, continuous, and differentiable on a b and a inter open interval a b respectively like that so we have checked the first hypothesis this uh, at the first and the second hypothesis the third hypothesis is saying that uh, uh, let us check whether f of minus one equal to f of one we want to check this so we realize that f of minus one equal to minus one cube minus minus one this is equal to minus one plus 1 which is 0 f of 1 is equal to uh, f uh, sorry is equal to 1 cube minus 1 which is again 0 therefore we have concluded that f of minus 1 is equal to f of 1 if f of minus 1 equal to f of 1 then according to um, rule's theorem we know that we can find a number c uh, such that f prime at c equal to zero but what is f prime of x f prime of x is 3x squared minus 1 and then this means f prime at c is 3c squared minus 1 like that and then according to Rolle's theorem f prime at c must be equal to zero and this implies that uh, uh, let me write here by rule theorem mm, we know that f prime at c equal to zero which implies that c 3c squared minus one is equal to zero this implies that 3c squared equal to one this implies that c squared equal to one over 3, which implies that c is equal to 1 over root 3 or c equal to 1 over root 3 like that so c is either minus 1 over root 3 or c is 1 over root 3 and then after getting these two numbers we check whether this number is in that interval or not this number is it in that interval or not and then we realize that yes these two numbers are in that interval therefore these are the number c such that rule's theorem is satisfied next we move on to the main result the mean value theorem Uh, for our purposes, we are not going to prove this theorem for now. We state the mean value theorem without proof. In fact, the proof is found on page 71 of our lecture notes. You can check it out. Now, what does it say? 
must know how to state this theorem. Theorem. The mean value theorem. It says that let f be a function that satisfy or that satisfies the following hypothesis. Only two. Number one, f is uh, continuous on a closed interval a, b. Number two, f is differentiable on an open interval a, b. If these two are true, then There is a number. In the open interval AB. Such that. F prime at C. Will be equal to F of B. Minus F of A. Divided by B minus A. Or equivalently. Can rewrite this as f prime at c times b minus a is equal to f of b minus f of a. Uh, what does this mean? Uh, in short, can you just use this? This one as an example. That uh, say for argument's sake, you have. A graph like that y equal to f of x uh, in such a way that uh, if maybe we pick this uh, to be a to be a f of a then we pick another one here we have b here this will be b f of b if you have something like this then we 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 can draw a second line. We can draw a second line like that, isn't it? This is a second. Okay, so we are saying that the gradient of this second line, as you, you, you will remember, the gradient of this red line is given by f of b minus f of a over b minus a, which is what we have here. This is the gradient of this red line. Now, we are saying that between a and b, there will be a number c, such that the gradient of the tangent to our curve will be parallel to the red line. So we are saying there exists a c somewhere, such a way that when we draw a tangent, the gradient of um, this tangent will be equal to the gradient of the secant line because we are saying f prime of c is the gradient of our tangent and this is the gradient of, i mean the gradient of uh, our secant line it's given by by this one so the gradient of our red line is given that way and then the gradient of our tangent is given by f prime at c so in other words this this tangent is parallel to the secant line somewhere there will be a number c which satisfy that so you need to know how to state this theorem let us take an example Let us take an example. As I indicated, the proof of that theorem is on page 72 of our no note. 
means uh, the proof you can find it on page 72 sorry of our notes on page 72 of our notes <clears throat> so as an example uh, let f of x equal to say for argument's sake x cube minus 2 for x which is uh, in the open interval 0 to close the interval 0 to then we want to find the number find the number of numbers for that matter c in the interval 0 to such that the conclusion of the mean value theorem is satisfied and we will start off by observing that oh we are dealing with a polynomial so since f of x equal to x cubed minus 2 is a polynomial then it is both continuous and differentiable on a closed interval 0 2 and open interval 0 2 respectively meaning that it is continuous here and differentiable there now let us just do it in pieces we can now talk of f prime of uh, x f prime of x is simply 3x squared this will imply that f prime at c is simply 3c squared all right then the next thing that we need to check uh, or to find is say f of uh, zero what is f of zero f of zero is minus two let us take now f of two f of two you can see maybe i should do it for you it's two cube minus two which is eight minus two which is six and finally we can talk of a, a b minus a so the mean value theorem tells us that uh, f prime at c times b minus a is equal to f of b minus f of a like that now f prime at c is 3c squared b minus a is 2 minus 0 which is 2 f of b f of 2 is 6 f of a is minus 2 like that this is 6 c squared is equal to 6 plus 2 which is 8 so that c squared is 8 over 6 c squared is 4 over 3 c is plus minus the square root of that which is either 2 over square root of 3 or c equal to Yeah, the other one is negative uh, let us put it this way minus this and that now after getting this we check whether these values of c are found in our interval there and we note that we note that uh, c equal to minus 2 over 
root 3, it's not an element of uh, our interval there. Thus, the C that we are talking, we are interested in is 2 over root 3. This is our final answer.